All right, we're over at Aureli Elio's, uh, putting all of his barbecue stuff in. So uh, maybe it's Memorial Day weekend. He'll uh, do some cooking on it. But when you get these things out, we were just talking, this thing's been sitting there for a few years. You want to season the grill a little bit before you start pouring stuff on. So I got Aurelio, the gospel barbecue rub. That is the initial seasoning, the gospel. Amen. Amen, he says. So we're going to put some, first I put some corn oil on there. And now I'm going to throw some gospel on there. Liberally, I should say. Okay. Now, I'm going to. Smell good. These on. These on. It does smell pretty good, huh, Pablo? And then we got our little dividers. Uh, I think they go like this. Because all this metal, uh, when they make it and they spray it and whatever, it's got, let's just call it stuff. It's got stuff on it. And uh, when you're cooking, you don't want that stuff going into your what you're cooking. So, again, another shot of the oil on here. I'm not just going to pour it on, but I'm going to rub it on. And try not to get any of this crap all over the barbecue. You know? One more time. Getting it pretty good and coated here. Is this Sean? It is. How are you? How are you? I'm great. Awesome. Your place looks fantastic. Thank you. It came together. It did. It was a process, but it what? Was. It was. I'll tell you, it's beautiful. I'm so happy. That's not the right cap. Where's the right cap? Here's the right cap. Okay, don't spill that stuff. Oh, you're recording. It's all right. Have to mute me. Have okay, to mute me. more of the gospel barbecue rub on here. And we'll leave them some extra for the barbecues. Yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Gospel barbecue. It's the gospel, baby. Meat church. Meat church. Yes. He's going to meat church. He's going to give us some meat sweats. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I love this. Thank you. Let me. Oh. Got here. The holes go here so you can move them if you need to. Okay, all the bells and whistles are uh, belled and whistled. So, this was a testing card. It passed all tests, okay. apparently. Or the guy just checked them off. Uh, okay, let's turn one on. Boom. 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 Can you smell what's cooking? I'm not the rock, but. <sighs> anyway, so we're gonna turn on for a little bit. Go like half. I'm gonna shut it down and we're gonna let this thing get up a little bit on its heat. And you see all this smoke and stuff? That's good, we want it to. It's really good the way it vents out here. And we just wanna get this up a little bit and get some of the crud off of it, let some of that 
oil that we put on there burn in there and then when they go to cook I still recommend that you get some hamburgers or <coughs> hot dogs or something easy the first time before you start throwing ribs and tri-tips and filet mignons and stuff like that we don't really need the lights on so let's turn them off these are the lights for the knobs we don't need them on well okay we'll leave them on just so we know it's on yeah so we gotta get the fan figured out. Hey man, I took a picture of that fan. It's pretty cool. How much did that fan cost? It's just 600 bucks. It's not cheap, but man, that would be really good in my living room. So Global based, industrial. They're based in Corona. So yeah. Canada and on in Corona. Global.